will be here again with 216 Custom Auto Restoration, wet sanding 59 El Camino, 600 grit wet. Just wanted to show you what the purpose of me using a squeegee is for. As you can see right there, you can see that orange peel, the imperfections in the primer. Very hard to see. But the phone is picking it up. But if you get up here on this spot, you can see that that type of imperfections are gone. If I walk it this way, you can see it pick up right there. So if I didn't use a squeegee and I just came along with my wet, 600 grit wet, sanded it <clears throat> actually doesn't look too bad it's nice and wet looks pretty smooth that part doesn't look much different than this part over here but there is a big difference if I take my squeegee wipe this off right here See that stuff right there. Back here, I've already sanded this and used the squeegee on it. And all those, those little imperfections are gone. It's just nice and flat. So that's the purpose of using a squeegee. Just walk along, do a little bit at a time, use your squeegee, make sure you don't have any really deep scratches or any orange peel that is hardly identifiable, like that stuff right there. Also what I do while I'm wet sanding these cars is I do have a hose in here with just a shower wand on it. And I'll go along, I'll along a couple feet or something and I will rinse the car at least where I'm standing at and I always keep rinsing it in case I do pick up a piece of dust or something it gets stuck to my sandpaper my pad I always take my sandpaper and I dip it in my bucket every couple of seconds I'll, I'll sand for a couple seconds this until I squeeze all the water out of it I'll dip it back in the bucket again, rinse it off. And about every couple minutes, I'll grab the hose and I'll spray the whole panel just to keep it all clean. All right, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.